Hey, Ray, thank you so much for doing this with me. Um, before we jump into kind of learning about your role and what you do at Halborn, can you give me uh, an introduction of who you are, what do you do, and what's your background like? Yeah, so uh, my name is Everett Carney. I'm the Vice President of Halborn Labs. I actually originally come from the video game industry, um, so I've been very product oriented most of my career. I uh, was an engineer, software developer, lots of different things from that to product management to um, you know, now running and building out the labs team. We joined uh, labs almost a year and, and change ago and uh, have been building up our products uh, to support our services division and to uh, bring some new tools and things to the crypto world. I keep hearing everybody talk about Halborn Labs. Everyone mentions it, but have not fully understood what labs are. Can you give me a little bit of background on what Halborn Labs are and what do you guys do? Yeah, so labs originally started as a kind of a research and development idea with the emphasis on spinning out products. Uh, we've gone through multiple iterations of different, different ideas and different things that have come up internally. We've launched a product called Seraph, we've launched a product called Zion, and uh, we're going to be focusing on that as well as a threat intelligence and sort of, we're calling it a cyber intelligence, offering uh, this year. So we've gone from sort of a, a wide experimental portfolio and we found what we want to do and now we're very focused heads down on that. You had your year and a half mark where you figured out what labs are. With going into the future, what is your vision? What is the ultimate goal that you guys set out to do with labs? And if you had you know, a magic wand that you can you know, decide what happens to labs, what would that be like? Our goals are to create tools for ourselves, create tools for the community, um, improve our communication with our clients and customers and, and within the Halborn you know, organization itself. And we want to basically make things that make everyone's life easier, whether that's a customer or internal. And you know, the way that we're doing that is by iterating over our web presence and focusing in on, you know, like I mentioned earlier, the threat intelligence offering and, and the automations and things that go on kind of behind the scenes that support that type of a system. And with, uh, you know, with, with what you guys do is very much specific and focus on Web3, blockchain and that sort of stuff. Do you see that always be the case for Halborn Labs or is there room for some Web2 and maybe cloud security and that kind of stuff with what you guys do? Yeah, so there's absolutely room. I mean, you can't separate the two right now as much as you know, in the Web3 space, we like to pretend like, oh, no, decentralize everything. And yeah, that, that's a great goal. But the reality is things are still hosted on AWS. Things are still hosted on GCP. You still have your React frameworks and your you know, your Next and your Nest and, and all the you know, Python systems that exist, you can't just write a Solidity contract and call it a product, right? You still need to provide ways for people to access that who don't know Solidity, who can't be comfortable executing a, a function from a contract on their own. And that's where the Web2 stuff still comes in. You know, we still have our front ends and our, our extensions and everything. And I mean, we support all of that in, in Halborn on the services side. And so for us, we want to make sure that when something happens, we're able to communicate through the systems and products that we're building in labs uh, efficiently to people who might be affected, um, customers who might be experiencing an incident, and uh, you know, those kinds of things. With how the internet's built, I feel like there's always going to be the, the aftermath of Web2 being a thing. You know, everything runs on Web2, the outside is GCP, AWS, everything's running in the cloud. So you can't separate the two, but you can emerge and kind of like make them work with each other but also build tools that make Web3 and Web2 play better with each other, be more secure and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I love hearing that you guys are working on these kinds of things. With one of the things that I've noticed with the, with technology as a whole, you know, we see all these different AIs coming up, we see ChatGPT becoming a thing. Mm -hmm. AI is not completely new, but there are new use cases of AI uh, that's happening. Where do you see you guys going with labs? Are you guys going to pretty much, you know, maybe create something in a parallel to AI that could leverage AI in some sort? Is that going to play a role with, you know, in your guys' future? Yep. So we are uh, making some heavy investments in our data science division, which I mean, is, is part of labs. All facets of the Web3 ecosystem. We're interested in DAOs. We're interested in DeFi. We're interested in the NFT world. You know, what happens when NFTs show up in an exchange? Like, what happens if Binance suddenly goes, we're going to launch an OpenSea competitor? Um, how can we help make sure that that's secure? How can we help uh, monitor what's going on there? Preventative security is very difficult on chain, right? Once a transaction executes, what are you going to do? We are very interested and in, in working very hard on trying to prevent uh, you know, that kind of thing from happening. We've got some things brewing uh, in the background that we think are going to be able to help 
we do want to help the whole stack of people. You know, we're not, we don't just want to help businesses. If we can provide something to a customer that helps protect their customers, that's perfect. Like that's a lot of what we focus on in labs is how do we make that, that hop without diverting too much of our you know, attention to a market that we don't necessarily service. What are some things that you're excited about you know, um, coming up in the year? Maybe you can give us some teaser about what you guys are working on. What can we expect from you guys and your team at Halborn Labs? Yeah, so uh, this is going to be a great year. It already has been a great year for us. Uh, it's going to continue to be a great year. We are very excited about focusing. Um, like I said, you know, when we started Labs, we were exploring different things. We were doing all kinds of things. It's a brand new section of the company. It takes a while to find your footing, both externally, you know, for finding product market fit externally, and then finding, you know, exactly what you want to do within the organization itself and how you can help. So now that we We've got that. I'm very excited for our uh, intelligence offering, and I'm very excited for the revamped Halborn.com with how we've got a, a customer portal coming. I want to create a reason for anyone to come to Halborn.com so that they can learn something, they can see something, they can uh, track an issue that might be affecting them or their friends or, or you know, who knows, right? But that's a big thing that we are doing this year. It's like. You, you should find it interesting to visit Halborn.com because something new is on the site. Something that you might benefit from will be right there and accessible to you. We want to we want to increase that interaction uh, interactivity. Yeah, I've, uh, I've talked to a lot of different people at Halborn, and it feels like you guys have a lot coming out uh, this coming year. So I'm excited to see what you guys put together and kind of rooting for you guys to see where it goes. Yeah, awesome.